Hello and welcome to my uh, reaction and review of all the trailers that were in the Super Bowl of 2021. Now, I have technically seen some of these trailers and parts of these trailers and been distracted in the background while some of these have been playing or something. I was at a Super Bowl party. There was kids everywhere. I was eating, not paying way too much attention to the football game because I don't really care that much. I was just there for the food and family and all that jazz. So, uh... I am more interested in this stuff than in the fact that the 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 but the Buccaneers won. But does that yes yes they won. Uh, I'm <laughs> I'm more interested in the movie trailers and stuff. Uh, and you know I, whenever I go to a party like that, it's like I, you you don't get a good chance to really watch these. So. This may not be a completely fresh reaction for all of them, but some of them I haven't seen at all. Like this one, which is the Fast and Furious 9 Super Bowl spot. Some of these, are, I think, are going to be the extended version of the one that was at the Super Bowl. Uh, this one is 40 seconds, so probably not. But let's watch this one real quick first. The world has a way of changing, but there's one thing that always stays the same. You miss the old life. Do you? Every day. <laughs> John Cena! We got the product, we got the tools, crank it all the way up. We go around, we on the loose, we are the truth. Yes! Yep, sure. Ready PD 13. Not as ridiculous as uh, some of the other trailers, actually, that uh, f for this movie already, I've seen that, you know, the one they jump off the cliff and like a you catch him with a rope or something. I don't know if you remember exactly what happened there, uh, but <laughs> OK, uh, this doesn't add a ton to my excitement necessarily, but. I always enjoy these, uh, let's pop that back up, I always enjoy these Fast and Furious movies, they're ridiculous, over-the-top fun, but they, they have this good, uh, central group of characters that really kind of pulls the, uh, the, the emotional core together in a way that you actually really end up, uh, enjoying the movies as a whole, generally, at least I do. Uh, let's look at the, what the next trailer is here, though. Alright, so here's the trailer to Yellowstone 1883, this is a, a TV show that is a prequel series to the TV show Yellowstone, which I haven't seen, so I really have no context for this other than what is going to be this trailer, which I think is really short, so we'll I see. I don't care if you live or die, but should you live, you tell them about me. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, that's it. Okay, I, I shouldn't have even react to this one because it's so short, but, uh, I don't know. I thought this was like a modern day show. So is it a prequel all the way back into the 1800s? If so, that's kind of extreme prequel kind of thing. But I don't know. I don't really know anything about it. Let's just move on to the next one. The trailer to Nobody. Now, this is a uh, dark comedy that I think really looks pretty funny uh, based on some of the other trailers that I've seen of this. So let's check this out. Hey, I have an idea. How about I, I make like this that guy. lasagna that you love tonight? You know, from scratch, like I used to. I used to work for some very dangerous people. <laughs> they came after my family. They stole my kitty cat bracelet. And you don't do that. Give me the kitty cat bracelet! It's been a hell of a day. It's done now. Nobody. In theaters only April 2nd. Rated R. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, this this really didn't add much uh, on top of what we've already seen in the other trailers. So, okay. Uh, you know, it, it looks fun. It looks like it's going to be funny. I like Bob Odenkirk. Uh, the whole, uh, you know, days since the last accident thing. I feel like we've seen that joke so many times. So seeing it here again, it's like, all right. That's that's a joke we need to stop saying in these movies because it seems like we've seen them too many times. You know what I mean? Next trailer we got here is for Raya and the Last Dragon. Uh, never heard of this. Don't know anything about it. Don't know if there was any trailers before this. This is my first experience with this one. So let's see. On March 5th. How did this world get so broken? I believe that we can be unified again. But someone has to take the first step. All right, Tuk Tuk. Let's roll. From the studio that brought you Frozen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, like, we were doing a jumpy thing. Oh, so sorry, my bad. Raya and the Last Dragon, rated PG in theaters, or order it on Disney Plus with. With blue. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't really care. It looks fine. It looks like maybe it could be fun. Maybe it could be cute. Maybe it could be something. But. 
I, I don't really care, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, yeah, let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> Old. Now, this is the one that I was looking forward to. I, I saw M. Night Shyamalan say that he was going to uh, be showing the trailer to his, his next movie, which was going to be this at the Super Bowl, and so I was excited to see this. I kind of saw it there. People were talking and all kinds of stuff, so uh, this is the first time I'm more focused on it, actually watching it, and uh, I can say already I'm excited for this movie. Are we there yet? This beach, it's beautiful. My swimsuit is hurting. They do look small. Come on, let's play hide and seek. Have you seen Mom? I'm right here. He was six years old this morning. <laughs> oh no. So weird. Mom! I'm scared! There's something wrong with this beach. We were chosen for a reason. What's happening? I don't know. I can't think. Old. Only in theaters this summer. Everybody's old. Oh my goodness. It's this looks intriguing this looks very weird very interesting and i think this could be awesome i hope it's awesome m night Shyamalan does give me hope i know uh you know some people have some mixed feelings about m night Shyamalan. i've been a big fan of him for a, a long time and i think some of his more recent movies have definitely brought him uh back more towards the better filmmaking side uh with things like split glass and and some other movies that i think are are good that he's made and so i'm very much looking forward to this movie and uh the trailer i mean it doesn't disappoint i didn't know what to expect but uh people just magically seemingly getting old on an island uh i don't know what's going on but i do want to figure out what's going on and i'm really looking forward to this one this next one is for clarice uh this is the uh silence of the lambs spinoff or reboot I'm, I'm not exactly sure which one of those it is but silence of the lamb tv show uh let's check out the trailer some, some cool shots in here the lambs were screaming the moth with the skull on it is there any actual lambs in the movie I, I don't to free them. I don't remember any actual lambs in the movie you know what I mean I thought if I could say just one this is her as a kid or something I don't but he was so heavy Well, this is her as a kid. I couldn't save them then. But I will never stop trying. Yeah, it's suitably weird. The silence is over. Okay, yeah, got the got the moth or whatever that is on the over the mouth just like the the cover or the poster for the silence of the lambs uh movie uh which you know has the little skull thing on it which if actually technically if you zoom in on the little skull thing it's actually like five people kind of standing on top of each other naked in case you didn't know that's actually what that little skull thing on there is so uh fun fact i guess uh I, I, CBS, it, said, it was on CBS, right? Like, uh, I, I find that to be an odd station for a series like this. CBS original, yeah. Because CBS, like, Silence of the Lambs is a very harsh movie. It's a very kind of uh, extreme movie. And it, it, adapting that onto a station like CBS, I suppose could work, but it, I guess it just, it can't be as... Uh, as harsh as the the movie that is based on is so you know we'll we'll see as what it is i enjoyed the movie i didn't love it uh the 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 best part of the movie really to me was anthony hopkins you know with, clarice was good i i liked you know her in the movie but you know anthony hopkins as hannibal was the, the was definitely the best part of that movie so i i if he's not going to be in there or if no hannibal is going to be in there How's that going to work, you know? Or, or are they going to cross, like, this over with the Hannibal show that they did a while back that I never watched? I don't know. I don't know. Looks like it could be interesting. Uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll check out the first episode or couple episodes or something, assuming I can get it for cheap to free. Uh, but we'll see. Next we have Coming to America here, too. So the second one here. Uh, I've never seen the first one. I know it's like a, a classic Eddie Murphy comedy, but I've never seen it, and uh, whether I want to see it will probably be 
kind of based on uh, how good the trailers and stuff look to the second one and whether I go back and watch that one and watch this one or something. I don't know. We'll see. But let's see the trailer here. I am King Akim Jaffer. And I believe you are the heir to the throne of Zamunda. Yes, my son. I shall bring queens to Zamunda. He's supposed to be prince of Wakanda. Wakanda is a fictional place. Not to everybody. I'm a king, I'm a king. over here! How much child support is she getting? The king pays no child support. No child support for 30 years and you came back? You was a dummy! <laughs> Coming to America, March 5th, rated PG-13. Only on Prime Video. Eh, okay. Uh, I mean, that that trailer was, it, it was fine. It's, uh, I don't know. To be perfectly honest, that didn't, it didn't make me laugh. It, it doesn't get me super interested in it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I should watch the trailer to the first one or something. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Is the first one worth checking out? I know there, there's a lot of fans for it. So there probably will be people that say, yes, it's worth checking out. So I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Eh. All right, last one here, ending it off on a banger, The Falcon and Winter Soldier. I'm extremely excited for this. I'm enjoying WandaVision so far. So, so far, the Marvel Disney Plus kind of shows how all that's going is going good. And the the previous trailers for this one looked really cool, and I'm... I'm I'm excited for this one. This one is probably the one that I'm most excited for out of all of these Marvel Disney kind of shows. So let's check out this trailer. This is a more extended one because it looks like it's like two minutes long. So this is a more extended one, not a 30 second spot like a lot of these have been. So who would like to start? Mr. Barnes, why does Sam aggravate you? 15 seconds to drop. So what's our plan? Great. All right. Superheroes cannot be allowed to exist. With this Zemo? I have no intention to leave my work yeah. unfinished. Classic mask for Zemo upside down right now where do we start Buck, I have a plan oh yeah what is it is you ready here we oh. go again huh Hello, girl, kick your ass. I gotta get that first shot up before that bullet hit me. See, that wasn't so hard. Are you ready? Oh. Is you ready? Ready? Okay. Wait, you ready? Ready? What are you doing? Ready? Are you having a staring you contest? Ready? Are you ready? Ready? Is you ready? Just blank, sweet. I mean, how old are you? Okay. <laughs> uh, dude, I am totally looking forward to this. I assume that's the end. Yeah. Uh, I am super looking forward to this. This looks awesome. This looks like so much fun. Uh, <laughs> Yes. Uh, the the biggest thing I kind of notice here is that like I we we're not very clear on who they're fighting. We know U.S. agent is in it, and he's going to presumably be a bad guy in here. Uh, we know that Zemo was in it, and he's going to be a bad guy in here. He apparently wants to eliminate all superheroes, I guess. Uh, so you know, okay, cool. But the people they're fighting seem like you know generic bad guy people. We don't really know who they are. There was the one girl putting on the mask, but I, I wasn't sure who she was. Uh, Sharon Carter showing back up. That's super cool. Uh, so I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, I know that I'm extremely excited for it, but like it, it, whenever they're fighting people, it's just the generic people. We never see them fighting Zemo. We never see them fighting the U S agent. Uh, so, you know, how all that's going to go. You only really see clips of the U S agent and stuff in there looking like captain America. So, Maybe they're just trying to tease that out, and since I'm a little bit more aware of some of the stuff that happened in the comics that I know of some of 
possibly what's going to go down in this series. Either way, I'm excited to see this. This looks awesome, and I I can't wait for this, man. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. This is going to be this is going to be awesome. This is going to be great. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, uh, comment below. Say what you think. Do whatever it is you do for videos on websites like this. And that's all for now. See you later.